So we're here on Kitsilano Beach, and what a lot of people don't realize is there's actually a 50 million year old forest preserved here. There's fossil leaves and plants that we find all along this piece of coastline. Oh, there we go. So there's a fossil here. It's not a great fossil, it's pretty eroded where it's come out of the cliff and been rolled around a little bit. But that to me actually looks like a chestnut. But this is a 50 million year old one, and you can see some of the structures on the, on the surface that tell me that that's probably a chestnut fossil. So what is a fossil? Fossils are the remains of plants and animals that lived long ago that get preserved in the rock. The best kind of fossils get made in areas where sand and silt and mud get to build up on them. So things like lakes and the ocean, for example, those animals will die, they'll sink to the bottom, they'll get buried under layers and layers of mud, and over time, those layers of mud turn to rock. And then when we split that open, that's where we find the fossil. The fossil has become part of that rock. So scientists like myself want to know the age of the fossils that we're finding. And one of the ways that we can do that is by comparing them to other fossils that we find all over the world. And we know the ages of some of these ones, so we can compare them directly to what we find here. So fossils will tell us a lot about the environment they lived in. Much like the trees and the birds and the fish that are around me now tell me about the conditions here. So by studying the fossils and all the fossils that we get in a certain site, we can build a picture of what that past climate looked like, what the past ecosystem looked like, and even take guesses of how all those animals and plants interacted with each other. So right here, we've got fossil plants. You go up to Tumbler Ridge and you'll find dinosaurs. If you go over to Vancouver Island, you'll find giant ammonites, which are like squid in coiled shells that we find around. The best places to look for fossils are places where we have the sedimentary rocks, the right kind of rocks that the animals would have lived around at the time, and they've been buried in and preserved, and now ready for you to find. The key to finding fossils though is that you have to be looking in the right kind of rock. So we call them sedimentary rocks, rocks that have been made from layers of mud and sand that very gently buried that animal or that plant and preserved them for millions of years. So here on Kitts Beach, we talked about the plant fossils that we find, but if those plants build up enough and get compressed, we can end up with layers of coal, which we see in the section behind me here. Coal is very, very important for us used historically for energy, but it also gets used in steel making and has been really important in British Columbia's history. This section here, you can see all these little black stringers of material, and that's actually the coal. And what's happened here is this was an old river channel that was about 20 meters wide that would have flowed through this area 50 million years ago. The plant material from the banks has fallen in and been compressed and turned into these coal layers right here. These coal seams here would have once been continuous and would have run right the way through the area through where English Bay is now, and they outcropped on the other side of the city in Coal Harbor, which is partly where Coal Harbor gets its name from. If you like fossils as much as I do, then go check out the Mineral Z website or below BC for more information.